morning, Abby. Good morning. Thanks very much for joining us today. Congratulations on the film. Thank you. Um, why did you decide to get involved in this uh, remake or sort of reboot? Reboot. Reboot. Yeah. Reboot. I like the word reboot. Yeah, well, reimagining. Yeah, I feel reboot's the right word because I feel like, you know, from 1997 to 2014, so much has developed in regards to technology and CGI and, you know, the way we make films and the digital world of films. Um, you know, tonight uh, the premiere is being screened on an IMAX cinema screen and I think that'll be really exciting and um, it's, a, it's the right time. And were you a fan of the 87 version growing up yourself? Yeah, I grew up on the far on, on a farm with brothers, so I was into all that sort of stuff with them, you know, like Robocop and Terminator and cars and motorbikes. And so just loads of VHSs worn down. Oh, yeah. yeah with you know viewing. exactly how it went. Yeah. It was either that or go out and look after the sheep type thing. There we go. Or go fix a motorbike. Yeah. Or go rally cars around the backyard. Yep. And of course, there's a great cast yourself, Joel Kinnaman, but you're working with three incredible living legends, Gary Oldman, Samuel L. Jackson and Michael Keaton. Um, how was that? Were you a little bit starstruck meeting guys yeah. like that? Yeah, starstruck, a starstruck for sure. Um, Gary Oldman definitely, like, I, I, I think too because I wasn't ready for the Gary meeting. No one said you're about to walk in a room and Gary's going to be in there. And so my knees started to shake a little bit when I saw him. And he's, he's a very charming, very good looking, stylish, you know, intelligent, talented, softly spoken, wise man. So you meet him and he kind of even exceeds your expectations of him. And what about Joel as well, sort of your co-star? A lot of intense personal scenes between you. Um, how was that to work alongside him? Yeah, it was it was lovely. The family dynamic obviously was an important thing to have established before we shot. So we were really lucky because they incorporated us into the casting of Jean-Paul Rutan, who plays our son, who I adore, and who's just such a beautiful young actor. And for me, he really became you know, him, him and Jose for me were, were, were sort of like the, kept, kept my performance, sort of the heartbeat of my performance going and the journey of my performance going. And of course you're Australian, you don't need me to tell you that, but I just did anyway. And being Irish, there's a huge Australian <laughs> dilemma there. The, the nation is divided between people who love home and away and people who love neighbours. real? I swear to God, How, What's the ratio like? What's oh, it, it's, it's pretty tight and it's mostly around students, but I'd be a neighbours man myself, but You're have you any preference? I, you know, I'm the worst because I don't watch telly. At all? Oh. No, that's fine. Well, just say neighbours. Neighbours is the best. Oh, just say what you, yeah. you like? <laughs> yeah, that's fine. You can just agree with me. And we have a couple of, uh, a couple of readers questions as well. The age old uh, dilemma. Would you rather fight a hundred duck-sized horses or one horse-sized duck? I'm sorry, can I get that question? Yeah, and I know you worked on a farm, so you probably got some experience of this. Would you rather fight 100 duck-sized horses or one horse-sized duck? That's the worst question to ask a farm girl. I don't want to fight any ducks or any horses. None of them at all. Just look after, care for them all. No, I did. Have you, there's this great clip that's out on YouTube right now. That's about a woman who communicates with a panther. They get that if you if you YouTube, I can't remember what it's called, but basically there's a man that looks after lions and tigers, and there's this animal communicator that goes in to try and communicate with Diablo because Diablo just wants to kill everyone because he was abused. The Black Panther. She goes in within one day quietens him, calms him, he exits his cage, he walks out into his surroundings that he's never been out in before and the end, the owner of all the other lions and the tigers, totally skeptical in the beginning, at the end the man's in tears at how much in one day has changed they ch and he, they changed his name to spirit and this panther changed in one day. You know. Well, maybe that's who you need on the farm whenever these get, go get that horses, animal communicator yeah, in. Let's go get the. Let's not out. fight them. Let's not kill them. Let's get someone in to Excellent. do something else. Well, listen. Congratulations <laughs> again, the film. Kay. Thanks for chatting. To you.